growing up, we had one store called Mr. Nate's. This is what country sort of stores like a building like this. And used to look like each neighborhood had like a candy in the lady south. or something that was selling cookies and candies and stuff out of the house, like penny cookies, penny candy, honey buns, stuff like that, man. We would just get on our bikes and ride to the candy lady house or whatever, you know what I mean? I'll tell you what, I'll never forget my roots or where I came from, even though I've been afforded the opportunity to travel around the world. To be honest. What does this sign say? Watery Country Store. Established in, established in 1856. So this is an old building. To be honest, this is what the houses used to look like in the South. I think up all the way up to the early 80s, people were still living in houses that looked like this. And some of the houses that looked like this did not have indoor plumbing. Or none of that. So you had to pump your water from a well and all type of stuff like that. And heat your water up on the stove for hot water and stuff like that. The house had a fireplace or whatever for heat or a pot belly stove. And the bathroom was an outhouse back in the uh, back. We got ourselves or a dough here. You had to use a bucket when you couldn't go outside at night. Uh, she didn't make it. That was just a quick clip of how country the country is, was, and can be. Chef Anthony Albritton here. The Carolina cook, cooking, tasting, and eating the Carolinas. All three is what you will find me doing down here in the Carolinas. In this episode, I'm cooking fried ribs. That simple. That's it. Just fried ribs. Yep, fried ribs. Them Adam and Eve's. But that brings up one question. Is Eve considered Adam's side piece? Since she was made from one of his ribs, technically that's a side piece. But one thing I want to know before I get into the video. Do you know the song? And if you know the song, sing along. Cooking is my specialty. Eating dirty in the kitchen like old DV. Turning these groceries into delicacies. The Carolina cook got the recipe. Adam and Eve's or some nice Adams beef ribs so with beef ribs is no I don't eat anything that goes on but uh that's on y'all if y'all want to use pork ribs now first I'm gonna start off by tem tenderizing these ribs I'm tenderizing the ribs all right, now, if that don't tenderize ribs, I don't know what will. All right, now I'm going to hit these ribs with some mustard. This mustard sounds like it could use some uh, Pepto-Bismol or something. Yeah, I think this mustard, this bottle of mustard got an upset stomach. Now that mustard, that mustard going to act as a binder for my seasonings. Now let me figure out what kind of seasonings I'm going to use. We'll go with some cumin. Go with a little steak seasoning. Little chicken bouillon. Little black pepper. Little season all. Now the only reason I use uh chicken bouillon flavor is because I'm out of beef bouillon. 
but I probably would have ended up using them both anyway. A little bit of soul food seasoning. You know, that soul food seasoning got that, uh, it's got that garlic paprika for color and the onion and all of that type of stuff in there, red peppers and all of that. Uh, Y'all know it wouldn't be the same without garlic powder, right? So let me go find some garlic powder. R matey, I'm on a treasure hunt for me garlic powder. R. All right, y'all, I had to go find some garlic powder. Man, you know you got to put garlic powder on the things you cook, man. You know garlic powder is essential to whatever you cook, man. Whether it's fresh garlic or garlic powder or both. I'm the king of this kitchen, but I'm not the king of the jungle. So good thing I'm not a lion because I will eat this meat raw. That's how good it's looking and that's how good it's smelling right now. Looking and smelling good enough to eat raw. Now, where's the lie? Normally I would season the flour, but I'm not even gonna season the flour this time. The most I hit that flour with would probably be a little bit of, uh, little bit of, little bit of pepper and salt or something. I don't even know. I'm getting the wok ready, okay? And, uh, I'm going old school style on this. I'm going to put the flour in a plastic bag and shake the ribs around in the flour. That way I know everything is nice and coated properly. The uh, ribs have been marinating in those seasonings and that uh, mustard. And I do say, it smells really special. All right, and since I used that mustard and everything as a binder and all those seasonings not really going anywhere, all I season my flour with in this instance was salt and pepper. And the salt and pepper is just to wake up the taste that's already there. It's serving as a flavor enhancer. Now, as I stated, I'm going to toss these here ribs around in a bag of flour. The old school hood country backwoods way. Off in some grocery bags. And uh, these ribs looking like they ready for, for winter. I mean, they looking like they got a polar bear coat on, man. Look look at that coating on there, man. All right, there's really no set time on these ribs. I could say five to seven minutes, but you're basically frying until golden brown, until they are, until they reach the level of crispiness that you want them to. Or you can be all chef-like and just check the eternal temperature with a thermometer. So you pretty much fry them ribs until they golden brown. Look at how nice, crispy, and well coated this rib is. Look at that. Y'all seen fried rib videos, and y'all seen fried ribs. But y'all ain't out uh, of uh, listen. All right, I'll say it like this. I won't say y'all, because I can't speak for y'all. But I've seen fried rib videos and fried rib pictures and stuff like that. But I haven't seen any that looks like this or was cooked like this. Now, normally I would edit this much space out of a video, but I think we need to just sit back and behold the glory of these ribs frying in this grease. All right, we're gonna put them off in the drainer. And let them drain. But tell me how many videos you've seen. And this ain't bragging, this ain't bragging. And this ain't trying to, and now I don't even do none of that type of stuff. I'm just saying. Because I'm not bragging because I gave y'all the recipe. All right? I'm sharing. All right, so it's not me bragging because y'all can do the same thing at the house right now because and I'm showing you. you would be up in there saying the same thing I'm all saying right? to so you. So don't right even there. try that with me talking about I'm bragging, all right? But tell me where you've seen fried ribs 
looking like this and cooked like this. I'll wait. I'll wait. But in the meantime, y'all need to go ahead and try your something, okay? All right, y'all, we all done. That's my presented plate. I put some yum yum, yum yum sauce on mine and garnished it with a little bit of uh, green onions. All right. Now, I'm gonna crack off into them, see how they taste. But first, let's get some pictures of these Adam and Eve's. Work it, work it. Oh, these are some beautiful side pieces right here. Go ahead, give these ribs a taste. Go ahead. Let me go ahead and uh, jet over here for a minute. See what they taste like in that uh, yum yum sauce. Trust me, y'all, with the flavors that are going on in these ribs, I really don't need any sauce, but since I got the sauce on deck, I'm gonna go ahead and get some. So I'm gonna take me a nice piece like so. Dip it in that yum yum. And like I said, y'all, it was already yum yum without the yum yum. Good. So, if you fry these up, Go get your uh, bottle of yum yum sauce. Or you can whip up some yum yum sauce yourself from scratch. You can whip up any type of sauce or serve it Here's with your favorite barbecue sauce, but no sauce is really needed, y'all. I'm telling you. But, but I'm going to tell, tell you one time. time you're going to love, you gonna love this. this. And remember, if you're not happy, you just might not be eating good. If you like my content, subscribe to the channel. South Carolina, born and raised up. This one's for you. This one's for who? Us, us, us. <laughs> like it, share it, thou the love, and subscribe it unto my channel. And smite it, that notification button. Thank you.